wouldn't it? That's fantastic. I think it's lovely. Yeah, and great to revisit her after all this time as well. Let's get the weather. You're going to tell us it is going to get warmer, I hope. Yes, eventually. <laughs> Probably not what, this June? weekend. Yeah. <laughs> And certainly last night it was a cold one, some spots again dropping down to a very chilly minus four. And then today, quite a lot of cloud around for much of the time. You can see on the satellite sequence that cloud actually rolled back in off the North Sea to most parts. The thickest producing an odd isolated shower in places, but most of us stayed dry. We did have some blue sky, certainly the Digswell Viaduct looking splendid in the spring sunshine. And tonight, well, it looks like we'll have a few isolated showers but I think for most of us dry with some long clear spells these showers feeding in later in the night may produce towards morning some hail or sleet and underneath these clear skies temperatures falling down again to around minus three to minus four so we are looking at a fairly widespread frost. So tomorrow high pressure stays centred over Scandinavia we've still got this cold air feeding around it so tomorrow a frost for some of us and then some showers and again some of these could be wintry but for many of us Saturday will be fine and dry with a good deal of sunshine but as I said earlier don't let the sun fool you it really is going to feel very chilly temperatures struggling up to about seven to nine Celsius some of us might not get any higher than about five Celsius and it will feel even colder in these east to northeasterly winds and we keep an easterly flow on Sunday but the high pressure does keep this weather front at bay and the rain associated with it so on Sunday again those easterly winds could drag in one or two isolated showers blink and you'll miss them but I think for many of us it is another dry day perhaps more cloud around than Saturday but hopefully some spells of sunshine too and we may reach the dizzy heights of 10 Celsius on Sunday but that's still a, below the average 12 Celsius we expect at this time of year and again those easterly winds are going to make it feel much colder especially on the coast but then the outlook which takes us to Good Friday it does now look as if high pressure will keep it fine and dry most of the way we've lost the risk of showers from Wednesday through to Friday at the moment and with that high pressure dominating and the winds tending to go more east to south easterly for a time it does still look like we're going to get warmer air eventually spreading in and so look at that those temperatures rising in fact by Good Friday we could be up to 18 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to feel positively tropical compared to this weekend. And overnight lows, well, we've still got a couple of chilly nights to come on Saturday and Sunday night. But then from Monday night, those overnight temperatures climbing and we should also be frost free. Good news for gardeners. It's like a staircase going in the right direction. It is. It is. Very good. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye -bye.